Do you guys know who Disco Lines is? He's a very famous DJ that just stole my USB. Jason, roll the clip. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Jay Shock. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be showing you the beat I gave to Disco Lines to play at this concert. So my original plan was to give him the USB and to play it and make the crowd go crazy and you know, work with him, collaborate. No! He had to take that crap from me. I'm going to show you the beat, but I need y'all, all the Shock Squad members, to tag him in this video, to send it around on TikTok, Instagram, let him know. Either play it or give it back. Alright guys, let's get into the video. One of my first EDM beats I've ever made, really. I'm gonna break it down for you, and then we'll play the final result after. Okay, guys, let's get on to the melodies. Okay. Thank you, Kilua. For the melodies, I started out with this arcade chop. Some fire. Like, that sounds like Coldplay or some Avicii type melody, you know? And then this is a counter melody. Another chop from Arcade. There's something to fill that, you know? Then for the middle section, like the drop, I have a bunch of different melodies like Sign Shade. I actually recreated this Arcade sample with different sounds. I just layered all of them, so this is what they sound like all together. See the side chain going up? So if you want to do that effect, you could do it yourself, but it's it's a pain in the in the butt, you know. Like you got to get a compressor and mess with the attack and stuff. I would just recommend getting ShaperBox too. It's a great plugin. They have specific presets for it. Let's move on to the drums, guys. Okay, for the drums, kept it simple and just did a classic like EDM bounce. This basic hi hat, basic clap, basic kick, and it's effective. It's punchy, and it punches through the mix well and. That's really all you need to get a crowd going with an, e with an EDM beat. So that means, guys, we're gonna move straight onto the bass. Thank you, Mr. Incredible. Thank you. If you guys are wondering why I have cartoon characters and stuff, I love animation. I love cartoons. That's where a lot of my creativity came from was cartoons and, and movies and stuff like that. I did a couple different things with the bass in this song. I also side chained this with the same effect. Follow like the the bass note of the melodies. Sounds weird, but it's gonna sound good all together. Second part of the, the bass, pitch it like up an octave. Fire. And then right over here I dropped it back down, you'll see. Woo! Nice and gritty, nice and low. With some distortion and been getting uh pretty good at, at mixing and sound design. Um, I'm learning different things about attacks, releases, and oscillators, and all this nerd sound stuff. So other than a, a couple of things, like automation, different drops in the song, like EQ sweeps, that's about it for the beat. Really all I did, I'm gonna, it's gonna sound really good when I play the whole thing. Guys, Shock Squad, I need you to go join my Discord. Can we get some subscribers? I mean, let's make it to 500, guys. Let's keep going. Let's build the Shock Squad community. Everyone's gonna know how to make beats out here and have some fun. This arrangement is not like industry standard. This is just what I did. Enjoy. <laughs> So fire. Shock Squad, I love y'all. I'm telling you guys, 
guys. Disco lines would have had the crowd booming. Instead, he stole it for himself. Maybe. Ooh, looking at club guys, come on. Rate this beat 1 to 10. Get in touch with Disco Lines. My battery's about to die. I gotta export this, guys. I love you guys. Shock Squad. Shock. <laughs>